All right, I got a Mercedes here. It's a 2010 GL350. Um, I don't know what else equivalent with this engine, but it's like a. I'm gonna post on the on the description below what else this uh, vehicle equivalent to. But uh, the problem on this is uh, this vehicle have a air ride suspension. Let's see, sits very very low. And then when you turn on the vehicle, the pump just, the air pump is just going and going, just keep pumping, but it's not, it's not rising the vehicle. Um, I put a booster pack in here just, uh, just to keep the battery going while I'm doing the diagnose, trying to turn on the, the pump. What I'm using here is this Autel uh, MK. 808 mm. I'm gonna bring you inside all right we're the inside of the Mercedes GL350 um, I got the auto with me here we'll do a quick scan on the body so this is um, doing a diagnosis on a air ride suspension let's go back chassis all right suspension showing you guys how this um oh communication error what's going on here Let's scan the code suspension so this is the code 5507 and 5505 uh, suspension this is the main thing right here is the 5505 we're gonna do um, basically it's uh, did, did not meet the higher the high ride the height of the ride of the suspension in the Pacific setting so uh, let's do a little bit of test here So you can see, um, on the, this is the battery voltage on my vehicle. Go back. Right there. That's the engine battery and 12 point something. So it's showing here the value. So basically this, to do the test on this um, pump, air pump. Uh, it has to be ranged in between 11 to 14.5 volts and we're on a 12 so we're so we're good if it's 10 volts it's not gonna work it's gonna kick me out on this sensor um, level sensor so it shows the voltage range on each of the sensors on the airbags that's good um, pressure operating time is just showing you see look it's maxed out operating time the pump has been pumping a lot of time I mean, who knows how long this vehicle been doing this but it's been maxed out um, pressure sensor value here we go so this is uh, show you the pressure on each bag um, reservoir is a tank at the back that holds pressure 7.6 bar I'm gonna move the camera here. All right, let's try the front, front left. Let's 
So I could hear the pump. I mean the air, I can hear the air releasing from the valves going to the to the bag. So it holds 7.8 left front and then the right front. There, I don't know if you can hear that, but I could hear it releasing air from the valve to the going to the bag. Okay, let's try the back left rear. Nope, nothing. Zero PSI. Sorry, not PSI. Bar, I guess. There you go, nothing on the right hand rear. So not, nothing on the rear. Um, let's go on. Let's go check out the suspension right here. Okay, let's do the front right. Let's see if it goes up. I'm pressing the button on the scan tool. Nothing. All right, we're back. Okay, well, let's uh, check the height on this uh, vehicle by pressing the top right corner of the sensor here on the sorry this button right here so I'm gonna bring you guys up here see if it goes up here we go Yeah, nothing. I can hear it's releasing air, but it's not enough to bring the vehicle up high. Okay, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna turn on the vehicle to see if the pump goes ah, wrong side. Yeah, you can see a little leak right there. See the bubbles coming up. Same thing on this side. Yeah, you're supposed to have no leaks. I'm gonna pop that bubble and see it come up again. There you go. Same thing on the back. On the shut tower, seems like it's okay. No leak back there. Same thing on the other side. No leak. This one is okay. Seven reservoir sensor 7.4 it holds pressure back there mm. 
Not much pressure. Top right corner. Yeah, it's getting worse back here. Leak. Up top. Air pump is pumping because I got out on that suspension setting on my scan tool because you don't want to interrupt while it's working so now it's it's rising okay and you can see that it's uh, the car is jacked up right now there's more bubbles coming out You can see that it's not, it's, it, I could push it. I can push it with my uh, finger, this bag, it's, it's, it's soft. Look at it, it's, it's, it's not holding. It's leaking somewhere. Uh, I, I spray, I didn't show you on the video, but I, I spray. I sprayed the lines coming from the valve block and uh, the pump line I spray around there and there's no uh, leaks so we're gonna have to try some something else here I'm gonna check the back I'm guessing that it would be leaking from the valve block internally because that's a common leaks on this So here's the the breakdown. What I've checked. This is the valve block and then the air pump. Airbags in the front. And then I'm gonna check the back. I'll check I spray coolant here, I mean not coolant, air water and uh, soap and there's no leak but you can see on the videos there's just a little bit of leak on the right front, nothing on the left front. So I'll check the back. All right, I got the rear end jacked up. Let's uh, let's pressurize this thing. Nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna start the the vehicle. So that's the bag back there from the line seems like they're okay I'll touch the bag see if it's firm yeah I could press it with my thumb it's not strong very weak the line is okay Seems like this bag is fine. Let's try the other side. Seems like this one is fine. This bag is okay, no leaks. I could hear the tank, the reservoir is like hissing. I don't know if you can hear that hissing sound. 
I'm gonna spray on the hose. See uh, where it leaks here. I'll uh, I'll spray around and show you guys where it leaks from. Forgot to show you. See how soft this thing is. Look at that. It's supposed to be firm already. So somewhere is leaking, leaking really bad. That would not cost to go up racing the vehicle. So. On the other side, it's it's okay. All right, the conclusion on this air system. Uh, let's start with the right hand rear bag. It's leaking. Uh, it's deflated right now in the bag, so I can squeeze it, and you can hear it's hissing. And it's, it's way way down here and then same thing on the other side it's uh, it's where where the fold on the on the inside is where it leaks and you can hear so it's not holding air back here and then same thing on the front right it's not holding air and it's not enough air to um, supply these bags so we're gonna change the the valve block okay so that would be up on the front there the valve block we're gonna change it and then uh, the front right and the rear right bag the left side and the front and back are okay so that's what's gonna gonna happen all right so um yeah thanks for watching uh thanks for the autel mk 808 uh, it helps big time um trying to uh um you know trying to uh make the market grow on that scan tool really good especially on the european vehicle um uh, and yeah thanks for watching our uh, next i guess video about this mercedes is uh see if the the owner will uh change the parts because the parts on this vehicle are really expensive